click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to watch my new recipes first. Hi guys, welcome to Artrace Home Delicacies and this is my first voiceover special video. I hope you guys will like it. Enjoy! So today's recipe is one of my favorite veg momos and today I've made it with no onion and no garlic. So let's check the ingredients. So for the dough we need flour about 200 grams, around half a teaspoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of oil and now we are going to mix all these ingredients with the hands. Now I am going to add around half a cup of water and I am going to mix it with hands. Now the water should be a little bit warm. I will add the water in batches so that it will be easier for you to make the dough. Now you can see I have massaged it for almost 5 minutes and with the help of your thumb and fingers just press the dough and keep on massaging. Now it is almost ready. Now I am going to cover and rest it for about 15 minutes. So for the filling we will need shredded carrots. So first I am going to peel the carrots. And then I'm going to shred it. So here I have used around 150 grams, say about two cups of shredded carrots. And I've listed all the details of the ingredients in the description box. So don't forget to check there. Next, I will need chopped cabbage. Here I've used around 150 grams of cabbage, and it should be finely chopped. Just be careful with your knife guys and take precautions while chopping. Now I am going to keep them aside. And next I am going to chop some green beans. Here I have used around 75 grams of green beans, say about 1 cup. Now you can see I have chopped all the vegetables, they are almost ready. So the next step is to chop some ginger around 1 tablespoon. And after you have done it, now I am going to chop some green chilies. This is also equal quantity, 1 tablespoon. Now we are going to heat some oil and add the green chilies and the ginger. And we are going to fry it for 2 minutes on a high flame. So after you have fried them, add the chopped carrots, chopped cabbage and the chopped green beans. we are going to fry it for around 3 minutes on a high flame. Just remember guys, we need to cook these vegetables on a very high flame. At this point, I am going to add 1 tablespoon of light soy sauce. You can use dark soy sauce as well. Saute it for around 2 minutes. We do not want our vegetables cook for a longer period of time. Now I am going to add some salt, some sugar, this will balance the taste. Mix it well and our filling is almost ready. So now I am going to take out in a plate and let it cool. Now to make the momos, we will dust some flour on the work surface. And we will take the dough and give it a good massage and divide it into 4 equal parts. Now we will make small balls out of it. So each ball should be of a lemon size as you can see here. 
I have made around um, 16 balls approximately from that dough and will keep these balls covered so that it does not become soggy. So now we are going to take a ball and with the help of a rolling pin we are going to roll it till we get the size of a puri. Now you have to be very careful because the dough is very soft and you have to make sure that it gets rolled evenly from all of the sides. So now I'm going to add the filling here and you have to be very careful that you should not add too much of the filling here. Now the next step is to seal the edges. You can see that I'm using my thumb and my index finger to seal the edges. You can also apply some water here. It will make your work way more easier than me. <laughs> so after you have done with this step, now take both the ends, overlap one another as you can see here and with the help of your finger seal the gap. You will get a shape like this. We'll see once again, roll the dough, insert the filling, seal the edges. Now see how slowly and patiently I am trying to seal the edges. You have to be very patient with this step. And once you are done with the sealing, take both the ends, overlap one another and with the help of your finger, seal the gap. This is my personal favorite shape of a momo. You can do it with any shape of your choice. So for steaming here, I am using a bamboo steamer and to it I am applying a parchment paper and brushing some oil. So I've put a pot with water here to boil and to it I'm going to add the steamer and I'm going to add the mousse one by one and put it on steam for about 15 minutes. So let's check after 15 minutes. Wow! The momos look extremely delicious. So it's ready now and carefully we're going to take out one by one and similarly we're going to steam it the next batches. So here you go my momos are ready. So here I have served it with some shave one chutney you can serve it with any sauce of your choice and now it's time to taste. Now dip the momo into the sauce, take a bite and it tastes absolutely yum. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you have liked this video and do give it a big like and subscribe if you haven't and see you in my next one. Till then bye bye, take care.